Okay. Parent and newborn baby. Yeah. What percentage of the responsibility for a child's education is on me as a parent versus you as an educator? Wow, man. When you said that word percentage, I got I I, I got nervous when you said that word percentage. We're gonna get back to that. But uh the percentage of it's a one hundred percent on the parent. Mm. The beginning is. See, learning starts at home because when the child is in the womb, it's hearing the conversations of the people around them. That's how they pick up the language. Uh, just because a child is Spanish doesn't mean they're going to learn Spanish. Just because a child is Chinese doesn't mean they're going to learn Mandarin. Mm. If they're around somebody speaking English all the time, they're going to grow up speaking English. Mm. So the parent has to educate the child. And see, we got to stop hiding and stop lying to our children. We hide everything from our children and we lie to them because we think we're restricting them or we think we're protecting them. Yeah. Whereas the pink people, they explain everything to their oh, children. They expose and, them and, yeah. Exactly. Oh. See? Yeah. So we 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 backwards. And that and that's where understanding come in at. So it's up to the parent. The parent has to start playing jazz for that child when the child is in the womb, classical music, even hip hop. And once that child starts to hear that music or hear those words, then you begin to educate that child and explain. And from there, the child starts to develop their own concept of what it means to interpret. And then they go out and do they do diligence based on symbols and signs. Everything is symbols and signs. Hey, but uh, see, we, we one thing uh, I hate to cut you off. Uh, my mom just gave you a big ups, bro. She texted me. She said uh, that this man is good. Hold on, I'm going to get the exact word. I just got chills, man. Yeah, she said, uh, this man is good and honest, uh, full of truth. Also, you were a small boy when you were in Lawndale. Uh, not something else. All right, something else. But yeah, that's what she said about you, bro. You know that's going to bring me to tears of joy. Yeah. And the reason why I say tears of joy is because you got to continue to build with the good. Tears could be used for something good. See, we it's a concept on how we how we interpret things. I could I could use that message that your mom just gave me for power. Whereas when somebody heard me say tears, they could have been thinking about something bad or sad. It's all right. about interpretation. And then when she said the word truth, man, I just got overwhelmed because that's another thing. Black men are considered to be liars. Yeah. Nas, Nas said that in one of his raps. You know okay. what I'm saying? See, we be we be sleeping on how important the music is because it'd be a lot of little things that said subtle things that's very meaningful. Very meaningful. Well, man. music is but almost as much culture as food. Music is almost oh. as yeah, yes. Man, big up to your mom for that, man. That's love. You you yeah. said your mom, man. Just think about that, man. Man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, she's the uh, lady that introduced me to uh, Christ Universal Temple. We started yes, going sir. when it was uh, by the Magic Kiss Lips. Remember, it was off prosperity, the island, baby. It was on like off Eighty Seventh Street for a while, and then she built the new big church, and it was closer to where we had just moved. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably why we moved out there. You know, what I mean? and you know what though? Yeah, Johnny Coleman ain't dead. See, that's no. what people don't understand. Oh, no. what, she what, stepped what, away. What, no, no, no. Physically, physically, she she made her transition. But what's going on with with with, with what she what she established in the earth? What's going on with the temple? It's Correct. thriving. Correct. See, that's why I mentioned unity. People ain't your mom know what I'm talking about. I mentioned I mentioned the school unity. I'm talking about Emma Curtis Hopkins on on here right now. Emma mm -hmm. Curtis Hopkins was a white woman who talked about Christian science. She got her information from the Bible. But when I start talking about the Bible, people are going to think I'm a Christian. I ain't talking about Christianity You're or, or about religion. Scripture. You're talking about I'm scripture. talking about scripture and knowledge. Everything we're talking about is in the Bible. Right. Prosperity. The, 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 uh, the millionaires of the Bible. Solomon. Uh, uh, Boaz. Uh, Joseph. Man, they had money. They had a relationship with a higher power. They understood script. And that's what I'm trying to give these children. That's what we're trying to give our women. We want our women to be happy, man. We want to bring y'all roses. We want to take y'all out on, on elegant, extravagant evenings, um, giving y'all silk and, 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 and making y'all heart sing, being gentle with y'all and, and 
and showing y'all the power of a man. Um, but we need help with that. We need to bring the family back together. And the black woman got to get her stuff together. I ain't, I ain't scared to say it on here. That's part of the education. Actually, the mother is the first educator even before the father. I planted the seed, but my wife was uh, my, my daughter's teacher before me. So no matter how good of an educator I am, I need that woman. I need that mother. I need that balance of that, that feminine energy. Man. And I'm, I'm speaking on that so strong because our families broke up and without family, education is nothing. That's what education means. Education means family. Why are you going to learn these things and going to do these things? Because you want to uh, have water, milk, juice, food, a, a nice tapered lawn. You want to live in a good community. You, you want to have a good life for yourself and for your family. Man. That's what education is. That's what learning is. That's what yeah. living is. So the word learn is really live. How are you living? Man, that's facts. That's, that's what the facts. word learn is. The word learn is really the word live. Live to grow. What, what does a plant, what does a seed do? It, it turns into a bud and then it produces flowers and it keeps growing. So that's what learning is. You're, you're, you're living. And then the how are you living? And then the seed sprouts and, and drops other seeds and spreads that information. Through sales. So Through, it's in the sales. Yeah. Well, let's uh, shift it up real quick. And this question I wrote uh, without remembering, maybe subconscious, I remembered you came up in the Jets. But so uh, thought experiment. I'm a parent. I live in the projects um, in the school system is a pre-prison farm, quote, end quote. I'm raising, uh, you know, multiple children. What's my best plan of action as far as their education uh, plan? I'm a single mom and I have multiple children. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out that. You and the Jets and the school system is horrible. So what's the best I can do? Should I send them, send the kids to that local school, the pre-prison farm, or should I, you know, educate? I'm gonna go. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and give it to y'all. Okay. KRS One got a new album out called uh, "Between the Protests," and one of his songs, he said he got his education for free. So you cannot limit yourself to where you can get an education from. If that mom. It's in an environment where the education, the school is not good. She needs to, number one, become part of the parent teacher uh, association with that school. She needs to go up to her kids' school. She needs to go to the classrooms and sit in there with her children. And then when she gets home, she needs to read with them. And she needs to actually learn what they're learning and then help them better understand. Now, if she working and she can't do those things, then she got to find somebody that can help do that for her. So it take a village. And if, if you're going to make an excuse and say, well, you can't do that, then your kids going to lack. They're going to miss out. So you got to bring a village to, to, the, to the cipher to help you with trying to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish for your friends. You got to have some bodies. You got to have some boots on the ground. And if you can't find that community, then you're going to struggle. I mean, of course, there's other solutions and other answers, but the best answer is she got to be involved. Mm. Mm. Love that answer, bro. And you can't put economics and money before that. If you ain't got that part of your life in order, then that's another problem in and of itself. So then you're going to create a bigger problem by your children not being educated. So now we're talking about subduing your passions and how you're going to set up your life. Uh, if you if you uh, make it boy wise of money, you can't live a, live a champagne lifestyle. Mm. So we got to start checking ourselves on that. And if we don't check ourselves on that, then our kids are going to continue to suffer. So you got to make a decision. It's a choice. Sacrifice. As a, as a single mom. How, how did you get yourself in that situation of being a single mom or a single dad? Because I ain't going to be prejudiced on here. Yeah, no, yeah. And, I never I never said mom. You got to, uh, no, I, I ain't talking about you. Yeah, I'm just no, speaking. I phrase it, the question is always phrased single parent. So. No doubt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying, um, Typically, it's you got to you gotta yeah. think about how you got to the to the situation you in, and then you can't sulk about it. You got to make better decisions. You got to put forth a plan, whether it's inch by inch, day by day, year by year, whatever. 
you mm. at some point in time you got to start knocking something off that mountain in order to get to the top. It's up to you and how it better fits your cipher. I can't tell you what to do with your cipher, but I can give you the keys on what you need to do to get that cipher in order and move forward. But you got to spend some time with your children, bro. Man, I don't care man. what. Well, and you if know. you're not, if, if you're not, and you can't pay somebody else to spend some time with them, they going to miss out. Right. Yeah, well, it's kind of a matter of a want to, self-love, and I've exactly. been talking about that. Exactly. You know, uh, my mom, you know, we would, you know, it was just a matter of, you know, you had to do certain things. You had certain requirements to be allowed to do certain things. Oh, you can't hear. But, um, well, self-love, you know what I mean? You had you had certain yeah. requirements, you know, to get certain privileges, like you that. know? Yeah, you know, and so, so, so we had certain places we had to be. And I would also say if the environment is bad, I mean, in today's um, world, we have the technology. We'll buy our kid an iPhone or even an Obama phone, and it's got the location on it. Yeah. Your kid could be at the library when they're out of school, and you can have your kid doing assignments that you assign to your kid. It's a matter of want to. Period. You know, and you can't allow your kid to come home and say none of the other parents are doing it. And. You know, it's just a matter of one. To, I remember being frustrated with my mom saying, don't talk like that in my house. Exactly. Like the jive talk, you know, or 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 I would be lazy. Right. And and not structure a sentence properly. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, come on. You know what I mean? You know, like, come on. I, I know how to structure it. Right. I'm at home. And she'd be like, well, I don't know that. And, you know, you have to get into the practice of knowing how to say it right. But look at what speaking correctly has brought you. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, everybody I know that know you makes reference to that. Yeah. yeah. So you could also thank mom for that because she knew all the way back then. And that's what wisdom is. And that's what also learning how to learn is. We as young people don't know much. They say the youth is wasted on the young. So that's why parents got to be stern. Mm. You, you are fighting a battle for them before they even know that they in a battle. And if you're not going to fight that fight for them or give them the chance and give them the opportunity, we're in trouble. Well, I know you got something to say, Tori, and I want to hear it. That, the, it reminds me of the, the parable. The old fish was swimming. It's two young fish swimming this way. You got the old fish, and the old fish says to him, uh, um, uh, man, uh, the water, enjoy, good day, enjoy the water. And the two young fish just went by, and they're like, what the hell is water? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right.